All right, let me put this one in an easier way of understanding. I did it yesterday in, in the live, but I keep getting people asking me this via email. One, AMC and eight, you can't put brackets on it because you got time between now and the reverse split, the, you know, the vote, then the reverse split. And during that time, since there's two stocks, even though it's really one, but it's two stocks, if one of them starts to move, it's going to take the other. So there's no way of knowing how it is. Then let's say we do have a run on eight. Let's say eight starts to climb. Since we never really knew the level of the shorts, you know, real and synthetics on AMC, that's how we can't tell how high this thing can go. Like for me, if I could get a couple of bucks above my buy-in on ape, I'm happy. Is that a fucking hawk? <laughs> go fuck your mother. Anyway, so my thing is, I'm cool with that. Couple of bucks on top, beautiful. If this thing has a rip, obviously it's going to be incredible. And FOMO is going to come in and then the funds are going to start buying because unlike other kind of plays, this is weird because the insurance to AMC on the shorts is ape. So ape starts to run. They're going to try to capture it, causing obviously gamma. You have to understand. That's why you really can't say, what is the bracket on ape? That's hopiism. Then the reverse split. Nobody knows if people are going to be locked out of it because that's happened before. So nobody knows what's going to go on. And during that reverse split, nobody is going to know what they're covering, what they're bringing back up from Brazil. Nobody knows anything, but it's going to be happening. Then on the other side, you're going to have a situation where you've got no more ape, no more insurance to the AMC shorts. So the shorts have to cover within that time frame on AMC. The thing about it is we don't know how many people are going to be allowed to participate. Will retail be locked out? And then AMC coming on the other side. Some people say it's going to be $800. It's going to be $80. Dog, you don't know because you don't know how many shares they're going to drop out on the market. You also don't know at that time how many of the institutes are going to also be trying to calm that fire down. Remember, this situation here is not old AMC. We're here, like, you ever seen those movies where an airplane is about to land, the wing is on fire, the the stewardess is talking to Jesus, and somebody in the back is trying to touch somebody in the no-touch touch zone? That's flight AMC. That's where we're at right now. What am I thinking? Yes, I'm thinking AMC 8 right now before the reverse split can range 7 to 15, maybe 20, 25. That's kind of like where I'm looking at conservatively around there. Reverse split, if people don't get locked out, we don't get smashed and a lot of nonsense happens and it's buying and FOMO, it could range. It could range anywhere from around three, four dollars, probably about 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Now, the dynamics of people covering and everything on the other side and FOMO, that's what could take a little bit higher. Um, we don't know the mechanics there. It, you can't put a bracket on this because this is not a one stock where people are buying in, you're looking at daily volume, plus the short interest and the available shares. You can't do that. This is like Wild West. Nobody's ever seen this. So as far as AMC brackets, there you go.